In this video, I will show you how to translate a small word document using WordFast Classic. The document we want to translate is this one. It's in Finnish and we will be translating it into English. For that, we have some sample terminology available in the form of an Excel sheet. There are two columns, one for Finnish terms and the other one for English terms. And the Finnish terms have been entered in a special format supported by WordFast that will allow it to better recognize uh, Finnish terms as Finnish is a highly inflected language. And this is, by the way, the same format also used by MemoQ. Since WordFast cannot import terminology directly from Excel, we will save this file as a text file. So I select File, Save As. And as the file type, I'll select Unicode Text. And finally, we have a reference TM available in the industry standard format the TMX that we will be able to use for concordant search purposes. So let's go back to our document. WordFast Classic works inside Microsoft Word as an add-in. So when it is installed, we have an add-ins tab here. Under that tab, we can find a WordFast drop-down menu that includes a number of icons and also a few sub-menus. We also have an icon. When we click it, it expands into the WordFast toolbar. On this toolbar, the rightmost icon is uh, the setup dialog box. Uh, we can either click it or press Ctrl Alt W. This is where I will be able to create a new translation memory. So for that, I'll select uh, the translation memory tab and I'll click on the new TM button. TM stands for translation memory. I will be asked for a source language code. In my case, it is Finnish, so it's FI-FI. -fi. I'll enter that now. Next, I will be asked for the target language code. And since I will be translating into British English, I will enter EN-GB. I will now name my TM instead of the default. I will call it Sunto. F-I-E-N, so I know it's a memory from Finnish into English. Next, I'll switch to the BTM tab. BTM stands for Background Translation Memory, and this is where we will be able to select our TMX translation memory. So I'll click on Select BTM. My TMX is found in the Memories folder. I cannot see it for the time being because WordFast is looking for text files at the moment. So I'll select all files as the file type. And now I can see my TMX. So I'll open it and reorganize. Now it's ready for use in WordFast. Next, I'll switch to terminology. In WordFast Classic, you can use up to three glossaries at the same time. We will be only using one. So I'll select the file that we had created from Excel. It's in the terminology folder and it's this one. Before we switch to the actual translation, I will make one additional change under Setup. I will go to PB. PB stands for Pandora's Box. This is the place for advanced comments in WordFast Classic. So it's not activated by default. I will activate it now. I will paste the list of available comments. They are in alphabetical order. And the comment I'm interested in is called Propagation. So I'll go to the letter P and I'll remove the underscore in the command propagate one, which means that propagation will be active for glossary number one. We will see in a moment how propagation works in WordFast Classic. Now we'll close the dialog box, save my settings, and I can start translating. So to start translating, I put the cursor on the first piece of text I want to translate, and I can click on this icon, Start Translation. The corresponding shortcut is Alt Down. Now we'll be switching from a print layout view, where I can see margins, uh, graphics, and so on, to draft view. This is more efficient when translating with WordFast. The first segment has been selected and below it, WordFast put an empty box for my translation. So I can start translating. Nine Passet Alcun in English, it's getting started. When my translation is ready, I can move to the next segment. For that, I can use the same command here. Its meaning is now next segment, also all down. And in the second segment, there are two words that are highlighted in blue. And this tells me they have been recognized as belonging to my active glossary. There are several ways I can insert terminology into the target segment. 
The first one is uh, the auto-suggest feature. So if I know the translation of Pinic Gate, its button, I can start typing the first two letters and WebFast will suggest the rest. I can just uh, press enter to have it inserted in the target segment. If I don't know the translation of the word, I can also start typing according to the source language. So if I start typing PA, I will also have the same suggestion and I can press enter. Now there's another handy way in this particular case to insert all terminology at once and it's the propagation command that I mentioned earlier. It works with the copy source command here, uh, also Alt S or Alt Insert. So if I click on this icon, this is what will happen. Both recognized terms, Pinecate button and Valicot menu were inserted and I only have to translate the middle word. So yeah, in English it's end. The words are in plural in Finnish, so I have to add an S at the end of uh, each word. And I have to capitalize buttons, so I can use Shift F3. Now my translation is ready, I will move to the next segment with Alt down and I can enter my translation here, again Alt down. Here again two recognized terms out of three words, so I can use Alt S to copy these terms and I can translate the missing word. Now again Alt down to move to the next segment, Paina, it's press 2 and Valico, it's menu. All down to move to the next segment. Here this uh, segment is identical to a segment we previously translated so I'm getting a 100% match. I don't have to do anything. I can press Alt down. Again it's press 2. And now this word Taustavalo, I'm not sure about its translation in English so I will be using the concordant search feature. For that I'll highlight the word and I can use this icon here, concordance search, it's also Control alt c C for concordance. So I click on this button and WordFast displays a number of hits found in the background translation memory and from these hits I can see that the translation of Taustavalo appears to be backlight. So there's a handy command in WordFast whereas I can highlight the word I'm interested in and I can press Alt F12 to have it inserted at the end of the target segment. Now if I want to add this new term pair Taustavalo backlight to my active glossary I can do this as follows. So I will highlight Taustavalo, I will press Ctrl Alt T, T for terminology and I will do the same with the target term backlight. Again I will press Ctrl Alt T and now I have a form that I can use to enter my term. In this case I will add an asterisk at the end of the word. This is the same syntax mentioned before that will help WordFast recognize better Finnish terminology. Now I can add my term to the glossary and from now on Taustavalo will be recognized as belonging to the glossary. Now switch to the next segment, all down. For this particular segment I was expecting a match from a segment I previously translated, this one, but for some reason WordFast was blind and couldn't produce a match. So I'll be using a congruent search again. I know that this word, sir to accessy, has been translated before, so I can press Ctrl Alt C to have hits with this word. This is the translation I'm interested in. I'll select it and Alt F12 to copy it. Now I need to make a couple of changes. Instead of uh, increase it's decrease and instead of uh, move up it's move down. Now I have my translation. Last segment, Pinetuna, it's key press 2 and the rest of the translation here. Now I can see this portion of text here is in italic so I will apply the same formatting here. I will press Ctrl I and now my formatting is OK. I'll press Alt down, nothing more to translate. Now I will revert to print layout view so I can see margins and my picture. This is the bilingual format used by WordFast so I have both Finnish source text and English translations together with a few segment delimiters. These are these purple things here. In WordFast I can press Ctrl comma to focus on the translation alone and if I press Ctrl comma again I will see my source texts and delimiters again. 
When I'm ready to deliver my translation, I will perform what WordFast calls cleanup. And cleanup is just getting rid of uh, source text and delimiters. For that, I'll select the setup dialog box. I'll go to tools. I'll select the document I want to clean up and I'll click on the cleanup button. Now I have a cleanup report where I can find word and character counts that I can use for invoicing, for instance, if I'm a freelance translator. And here I have my English translation, which looks just like the original text. So there you have it, how to translate a small word document using WordFast Classic. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more similar content. Also hit the like button if you found this video useful. Use comments below this video if you have any questions or feedback and see you in the next one.